Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. You are watching Desi TV USA, DTVNN. I am Tabinda Gul. Let's take a look at the headlines. Prominent Islamic scholar Dr. Zakir Naik arrives in Islamabad. Israel strikes more targets in Lebanon and Yemen following Hezbollah's leader's death. Kamala Harris campaigns in Nevada as Democratic presidential candidate. Hurricane Celine's after math brings heavy rain and flooding across five US states. Sangar police arrest 14 drugs dealers in major crackdown. These are headlines lead to news detail. Prominent Islamic scholar Dr. Zakir Naik has arrived in Islamabad. The distinguished guest was warmly welcomed by additional Secretary Ministry of Religious Affairs Sayyid Ataullah Rahman and Parliamentary Secretary of Religious Affairs Shamsher Ali Mazari at the Islamabad airport. Dr. Zakir Naik, known for his contributions to Islamic scholarship, is in Pakistan to engage in religious dialogues and seminars aimed at fostering greater understanding of Islamic teaching. Israel has launched additional airstrike in Lebanon and Yemen. Following the death of Hezbollah's leader Sayyid Hassan Nasrullah and several other top commanders, the strikes are part of Israel's ongoing military efforts to weaken Hezbollah's influence in the region. Nasrullah, a key figure in Hezbollah, was killed along with other high-ranking officials in a targeted operations. The escalations has further intensified tensions across the Middle East with calls for restraint from global powers. U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris has been actively campaigning in Nevada as part of her run for the 2024 Democratic presidential nomination. Harris addressed supporters at a key campaign event, promoting her vision for the country and highlighting key policies on economic growth, healthcare, and social justice. Her visit to Nevada marked a significant stop in her efforts to gain momentum ahead of the upcoming election. The state is expected to play a pivotal role in the Democratic primary race. At least 3 million people remain without power across 5 US states at the remnants of hurricane ceilings continue to cause widespread damage. The storm, which has weakened but is still producing heavy rains, has led to massive flooding in multiple areas. Authorities are urging residents to stay alert and take precautions at floods water rise. Efforts to restore power are underway but recovery could take days as the storm efforts continue to impact communities. In a major operation, Sangar District Police have arrested 14 drug dealers and seized significant quantities of drugs and illegal weapons. During a raid on Kanto Road, police recovered five months of raw tobacco used for making Mawa Gutka and confiscated the vehicles used for transport. In other operation, a suspect Habibur Rahman Brohi was arrested with an illegal TT pistol. Police also recovered 154 liters of locally made liquor and 330 packets of gutka in operations across the district. The crackdown continues as authorities work to enhance public safety. This is me, Tabinda, signing off. Stay tuned for more news, DCTV USA, DTV NN, and our OTT platform, DTV Flex, where you can access to over 3,000 channels. So stay tuned and stay with us.